Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about how your members are integrated with the mission screens. Particularly, how you check members into a mission and make team assignments for them. As you can see, we're on the mission screen already. Let's go ahead and create a new mission. The first screen we'll see once we start a new mission is the general screen. The one thing I want to point out on the screen is the mission type. The mission type will dictate what screens we will actually see for a given mission. In this case, let's select an evacuation. Now the first screen I want to talk about is the check-in screen. The check-in screen is where you will check people in as they arrive at the command post. Or, if your agency allows, you can check people in remotely. Often, teams or agencies will set up a number of computers that have just this check-in screen on them to allow people to check in quickly as they arrive. The way you check people in is you type in either their ID, email, or first or last name. Let's go ahead and check in our first person. When I've typed in this person's ID number, Mission Manager presents me with the information in the database about this particular person. This is my opportunity to adjust, correct, or change maybe what pieces of equipment they have, or their emergency contact information, or maybe their contact information. As soon as I'm happy or the person's happy with their information, simply press the check in button. We can also add guest members, members that might not be part of your agency, but they've arrived at the command post and you want to check them into the mission. You can do that with the new guest member button. I'm going to quickly check in three more people so we can move along. The next screen I want to talk about is the personnel screen. The personnel screen is a snapshot of all the people that are checked into a particular mission. So in the first column to the right, you can see all the people and what their current status is, in this case all the people that are available. In the center column, you can see all the people that are currently available. In the column to the left, you see all the current ICS positions. These ICS positions will change based on the mission type. You can add, customize, and change ICS positions based on your needs. To take a person from the available column and put them into an ICS position, that can easily be done by simply grabbing the person with the left mouse button, dragging them to the position you want to put them in, and releasing. That person will be moved into that ICS position, and their status will change over here in the personnel status list. I can do this with as many people as I want to quickly fill in my ICS positions. I can also limit the people on the screen based on their qualifications. So let's say we only wanted to find somebody that was a sworn member. We can do that by simply clicking on one of the show only options. Again, these options are customizable in the configuration screen based on your needs so you can have your own qualifications of how you want to filter your people. The next screen you want to look at is the team assignment screen. We can access this with the teams tab. The team screen is where I can create assignments to send people out in the field to do things. So if we want to create a new team, all we need to do is press the add new team button. A new team is created. The types of the team can be defined. Now again, these types are set up in the configuration and will change based on the mission type. Let's say this is a medical team. And what I can do is I can filter or I can sort my members by their medical level. So I can find, in this case everyone here has the same medical qualification, but I can find my, say, person who had the highest medical for the team leader in this case. Let's go ahead and just pick the first person in this list. And just like the personnel screen, it's a simple drag and drop. We can give them an object objective. We can print their team assignment and send them on their way. Now a couple of the things I'll mention about teams is when you send a team actually go out to, to go out and do something, you want to change their status. Currently this team status is pending. 
what we can do is we can change their status to, let's say, on assignment. When a team has finished their assignment, you want to come back in here and change them to finished assignment. That's a quick look at how we can make personnel and team assignments using Mission Manager. Refer to some other videos for more information about missions and other features. And thanks for watching.